it will not be obvious for most, if not for everyone, but Ginger Lee's It's Been Raining in Manila seems like a 21st century Mona Lisa, if only for that hard interpret smile. Mona Lisa's smile has puzzled generations. Is she smiling or smirking? Is she being friendly or is she shy? What is she thinking? Who is she exactly? And what does she have that expression in her face? What is her story? Where did she come from and where would she go from here? Looking at the woman in Ginger Lee's painting makes me ask the same myriad of questions. The title places her in Manila on a rainy day. If it were not for the title, this could be a scene seen anywhere. Like the Mona Lisa, we do not know if she's smiling from thinking of a fond memory or something that has yet to happen. Her eyes seem missed at first, but then that's just the blue reflected in her eyes. We have the preponderance of the color blue here. The sky, the rain, her earring, her sweater, and the smoke coming out of her cup, which makes us rethink whether that's coffee at all in her cup. The different shades of brown are also competing for our attention. The sky, the buildings outside the window, and the interiors of the cafe, and even her mug. We see a happy star and a heart forming from her coffee. Either they symbolize her emotions or her love for the cup. The blue in the corner of her eyes makes them look misty, but I thought she felt like crying. She is lost in her thoughts. Is she thinking or relishing about something that's happened or in anticipation? If it's already occurred, how far back or recent has it been? If it's in anticipation, is it going to be soon or is she just getting ahead of herself? Ginger Lee is making a severe, or to be blunt, pakialamero and pakilamera from a table away. To be more refined, she's making us engage in people watching without being intrusive, as it's not a real person we are looking at. But then again, the artist might succeed in making us enjoy observing people that will bring our ho- new hobby to real life. And I guess that's what makes her painting work. She presents us something that can happen in real life, whether we are the one being observed or doing the observing and carry them over. Paintings that can translate our viewing experience to real life are amazing and essential. Art is essential. (laughs) 